Well, guys, it is officially race day, finally. So, as you see in the last video, we had a bunch of two-step problems and all that. It wouldn't go on the two-step. It made 30 pounds of boost and all kinds of crazy stuff. All I did was just change the input wire on the trans brake side, on the ECU side, and now it works. I don't know why. I tested it one time real quick before I loaded it, but the two-step seems to work now. So, it's race day. We're going to try to go give it our all. Uh, we're going to run the 520 class today, so I will be able to show you all time since we're running an index, a 520 index. But yeah, we are all loaded up and ready, and hopefully today goes good. The wrap didn't turn out too great. I got to push this stuff in. You can still see where the door was a little messed up there. But got the new doors on, new wrap on it. Uh, painted bumper you've seen last video, but yeah i mean we'll see how it goes it's supposed to we're supposed to be there at eight it's like 9 30 10 so we're always late though but we'll get back to you when we get there well as you can see behind me we finally made it to the track it's actually turned out to be a really nice day we took it through tech already it idled good everything worked out great i mean everything's just working good today so hopefully that means things are going our way for once here um, we're about to go up to make a test hit. I think we got like an hour to make a test hit. So we're going to go make one. Hopefully my GoPro is charged. I just put it in the truck. So I don't know. May not get to see that. But uh, we got videos from the outside though. But yeah, we're about to go make a test hit. We're here at Truck Nationals finally. So we're going to see what we can do in the Little Hitter class. Again, it's a 520 cap. So I can't show you my times today for once. So we'll see. Well, you've seen the first pass right there. It went pretty good. It was going right. So I pedaled it one time and I got back in. And I rolled into it. The data says I took a second to roll back into it. And uh, I'm not going to say exactly, but we broke out. We ran faster than the 520 index. So now we got to turn it down some. I, uh, I softened this ramp up a lot. So it was before going like straight up and then over here to 15 pounds. So now I kind of went all the way down to four and kind of slowed it down a little. Still going at 15 pounds. Uh, this motor goes over the target boost. 15 is actually 20 pounds. So I did slow it down a little bit. Hopefully that should help. And since it's trying to go left or right at the first 60, 100 feet, I decided to slow it down there and then I can just drive it from there, get on and off the gas or whatever. But so it's still set up to go a little faster than 520 possibly, but I'm just gonna drive it and see what it does. I'm just gonna judge based off whoever I draw, but it's a, uh, you can't hear much out here. All you hear is a lot of music and stuff going on, but so hopefully we don't miss the first round chip draw, but we'll see. I try to record when we do get it and let you know who I got. We finally made it here for first round. Uh, this is the truck we got first round. I don't know anything about it, but some kind of bracket truck. I don't even know what kind of truck it is, but that's the first round pair. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know if they typically run bracket or 5.0 class or what, but I think we got a decent chance. Thing I think is on big tire wheelie bar. Right, oh, yeah. one, we had two winners. We're going to rerun it. See who's going to take it. Alright, guys, we're going
back at the garage. It was freezing out there, so we packed up and loaded as soon as we went out. But we did lose first round to that Apache truck or whatever it was. Um, so what happened was she left on me pretty good on the line. And I caught back up to her about middle, mid track. And I pedaled it once and I just barely stayed ahead, but I ended up breaking out. There's a 520 cap and I went up just a little faster than 520. So, you know, that, that's racing. That's what happens if bracket racing is a little confusing if you don't, if you never done it. But I went faster than 520, even though I got there first, I think I still lost because I went faster. But overall, the truck is doing great. It fixed that input issue. I don't know why one input wire would go bad, but if you ever have an issue with an input to stop working, just put it on another input because that wire burned up or something. Never heard of it, but now you know if you watch the videos and you've ever had the issue. But um, truck's in one piece. It's all here. I'm glad we uh, were able to make it. We were able to go to Truck Nationals finally, and I can't wait for the next one. There's one coming in next month i think the last event of the track is another truck event so hopefully we make that hopefully they have another little hitters class and you know we'll just go from there but i'm glad the truck performed it made one of its best passes of the weekend there in first round so i can't complain too much but you know hey it's all here that's racing and that's the way shit goes met a lot of good people a lot of good fans a lot of people proud and happy to see the truck and Hey, it makes me proud seeing people happy when they see the truck. But that's going to end this video off. See you next time.